in this tutorial we are going to see how to trace a point using SC motion in space claim so we are considering an example of elliptical trammel and by theory we know that any point on the handle would trace an ellipse so let's verify that uh, to do that we need to uh, insert origin origin stands for a marker or a coordinate system so we have to specify the say we specify I'm assuming that this is a center click on it so this origin is listed at the assembly level or root level so we rename it as UCS1 and we drag this to trammel underscore handle so now this is listed here okay so let's go to SC motion, start SC motion. We have already defined a cylindrical uh, a rotation to the cylindrical joint out here. And under components and trammel handle, so UCS1 is listed. So right click on it and uh, enable trace. We can also optionally set color. So let's set a color of uh, red for this case. and or we are set for simulation once the simulation is done we can uh, look at the animation and this is how uh, ellipse is drawn as you can see it's an ellipse and let's go to the top view so this is an ellipse here okay and uh, you would also want more traces to be drawn so let's go back to SC motion and let's we need to uh, find that midpoint between these two sliders on the handle so to do that uh, we'll create a sketch on top of this and uh, we would create a straight line and let's create a point here once that is done I'll remove the line uh, go to 3D view so let's insert a uh, origin at this point so we are not bothered about the orientation of this marker because we just want the uh, point so let's name it UCS2 and again move this UCS2 to trammel handle let's get rid of this curves so we are all set now so again go to SC motion it automatically updates the list of uh, UCS so we right click on UCS2 enable trace and click on set color and in this case we click a uh, blue so that is done let's re-simulate it and uh, as you observe the midpoint of these two sliders would actually trace an circle and any point other than midpoint would trace a ellipse okay this is about how we can use trace and as an additional feature we also have graph plots of the uh, custom markers so if you go back to handle so you have UCS1 so we can look at the position X and Y of this UCS1 marker similarly we also have UCS2 we can also look at the uh, X and Y so basically this is for circle and this is for the ellipse you can see that the uh, rate the amplitude of these two are different and amplitude of these two curves are same because these are uh, this is for the circle okay that's an update on SC motion thanks for watching